Today, Charlottesville City Council will take the first step in deciding whether to switch local elections to ranked choice voting. Avery Davis is live in the newsroom with more on what this could mean for voters. Hi, Avery. Hi, uh, Charlottesville might become the second city in Virginia following Arlington to adopt ranked choice voting for future elections. If passed, this would go into effect in 2025. If you have ever felt torn between voting for who you really like and voting for the candidate you think can win, then you understand the problem that ranked choice voting solves. Since 2021, former House delegate Sally Hudson has advocated for ranked choice voting, even launching the advocacy group Ranked Choice Virginia. Here's how it would work. In a ranked choice election, you don't just vote for one candidate. You get to rank all the candidates in the order that you like them. So your first choice, your second choice, your third choice. And then when all the ballots are cast, we conduct an instant runoff to identify the winners who have the broadest support from the whole community and not just the narrowest base. Once a candidate receives a little over one third of the votes, they win the election. Those with the city say they plan on educating voters on what to expect and exactly how it works should ranked choice voting go into effect. If it does pass, um, it's going to be a large effort with everyone involved just to make sure that we are educating voters and they are aware of what this is and how it's going to affect them when they go to vote. If city council decides to vote this new system into effect, state and national ballots will still follow the traditional format. It's only the city council primary that will be ranked choice voting. Any other election that they engage in, um, you know, that day will not be ranked choice voting. So um, it's going to be a change. But, you know, as the sea rises, we can all rise together. Hudson says there are some in Charlottesville who oppose this ordinance. She also says she believes this is a bipartisan issue. I think it's really curious because ranked choice voting is absolutely a bipartisan reform. And we see at the national level that there's support from both Democrats and Republicans, including really prominent leaders like Mitt Romney and presidential candidate John McCain. Monday will be the first of two city council meetings needed to decide on the fate of ranked choice voting. And regardless, the change would not go into effect for another year. Live in the newsroom, Avery Davis, 29 News at 6.